Most supplement companies, they don't contact independent organizations. They'll have you know their lawyer do it to protect attorney-client privilege. And so if the negative results come out, the, they can bury it. Or if you really believe in what you have, you take it to an organization like them and say, all right, let's test this. Let's see if it works like we believe it does. What can we recommend for everyone listening from the Onnit family of products? What would be the one thing you're just like, hey, what's, here's the thing I think most people try it, they love it, and this is where they're like, damn, on it's good stuff. I mean, Alpha Brain, that very first product, still our flagship. You know, that's a way without stimulants to enhance your cognitive function. Two clinical trials, Boston Center for Memory, we've shown this in double blind studies against placebo. This is not hocus pocus. This is actually working on the neurotransmitter level to make you more sharp. If your issue isn't getting more sharp and you want to, you know, improve your mood, then we have a you know product called New Mood that helps out with your mood regulation stabilization. If you want something to give you more energy for a workout, then we have this. Really, on it is just this giant toolbox. And you plug in and figure out, like, all right, what do I need the most? Do I need more sleep? Do I need more focus? Do I need more, you know, aerobic capacity? What do I need? And then how can on it provide a tool that might be helpful in that? Or just fucking catch a buzz off the inspirational videos. We just put out a video today <laughs> with this fighter, Cub Swanson. So dope. You know, sometimes you don't need any actual products. You just need a little kick in the ass. And you don't have to buy anything. We're happy to provide that, too. One thing that I, I was wondering, though, is like I can I can imagine myself hearing this and being like, I don't know, Aubrey. I know you uh, relatively well. But people who don't know you are like, well, it's a pill. It's probably like some sugar caffeine pill. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, how have you gotten people over that hump of believing your product? And it's like even getting them to try it, right? Because yeah. it's not like a free product. Well, I think science is the religion of our time. You know, and I think that double blind placebo control, having those double blind placebo control trials on our product has really made a huge difference, you know, because we had a lot of doubters and detractors and we still have some, but that is really diminished because now we have clinical trials on um, three of our flagship products. And that do you think shown. people would say that you're paying for those, though? So it's like, of course, they're biased to give you a good review. You can't trick the you can't trick the sun like they're independent agencies whose credibility is on the line and those studies are peer reviewed. So it's not like we did it in our basement. And we're like, <laughs> yeah, it was double blind. No, his mom liked it. Quotation yeah. marks, you know, even though I'm providing it and I know which pill it is and I'm shifting the results. You know, we chose places like the Boston Center for Memory, you know, and the Boston Center for Memory before the Alpha Brain was a success had a string of like 14 negative results, like no results on products that they tried, published all 14. Like it's an organization that has greater credibility at stake than to try and get enthralled in a scandal for their biasing their data, you know, for some small supplement company, you know? So I think it is important to, you know, to kind of pony up and really take the risk because there's ways to do it the other way. You know, most supplement companies, they don't contact independent organizations. They'll have, you know, their lawyer do it to protect attorney client privilege. And so if the negative results come out the, they can bury it, you know, they'll have, there's all these different tricks that you can do. Or if you really believe in what you have, you take it to an organization like them and say, all right, let's test this. Let's see if it works. Like we believe it does. What and things have um, you guys done? Haven't worked. Well, we had a product we used to call T plus and we tested that on young, um, they're actually the rugby team at Florida State University through Florida State. We were testing two things. We were testing to see if they had any strength improvements, and we were hoping that they would also have testosterone improvements. They only had one of the two. So they did not show any boost to testosterone. Um, I mean, the science is a little bit complicated, but there's mechanisms in place if you have a healthy amount of testosterone to, pre- to prevent the surplus of testosterone. It's called the negative feedback loop. And so that kicked in. So they had no significant benefit in testosterone improvement, but they did show a significant benefit in strength improvement. So we, you know, acknowledge that, changed the name of the product from T plus to strength and performance. And while it still may work to boost testosterone for some people um, who have lower testosterone, who is usually who you test something like that on, you want to test on somebody who's deficient so you don't run into this problem. Uh, but we kind of backed off that claim and just talk about the strength improvements, which we've shown clinically and scientifically. Then, and the product is, you know, sales have dramatically suffered from that, you know, from doing that because testosterone is a major key issue. But, you know, we feel like that more accurately reflected what the science has shown. I still would like to test that with a, you know, like an aging demographic of lower testosterone and see, see if we can get some <laughs> results. But until we do, you know, no yeah. need to claim it. Uh, I want to go to a few more things, uh, but with the FDA, because I'm really, how come you guys don't do FDA? And I just don't know. FDA is for drugs. So, so yeah, why aren't these classified as that? 
drugs are designed to treat a medical condition. So you cannot have an, you cannot have a drug that doesn't treat a medical condition. Every single drug has to treat a medical condition. Hmm. So we are not trying to treat any medical conditions. We're trying to take people from good to great. We're trying to take people and improve their performance. So um, in that space, we're not creating drugs. We're creating hmm. supplements. Like the study with the Boston Center for Memory could be it's the same size and it's the same criteria for the basis of a drug. We weren't treating a medical condition. These people were, they actually had a standard deviation above normal IQ. They were young, healthy individuals. There's nothing wrong with them. They were just better. They remembered more. Their mind was faster. They were more focused after taking it than they were before. And so that's the big difference. 